All right, I'm on hole number four of the Highlands Tournament. I'm in Monday's practice round in the rookie division, and I absolutely need to start practicing. <laughs> uh, I've just been playing the holes, and um, I did pick up the eagle on hole number two. And I need to, uh, I either need, I uh, very soon here, I think on, on in this particular course, minimum score is minus 14. So unless you can pick something else up on that, you really need to stick. And, and I haven't seen some of these holes because they've got new ones. So I'm going to have to, I'm trying to play pretty serious just so that I can uh, check the holes out and make sure that what I want to bring is there, but I need to uh, start forfeiting or, or tanking some putts. It's a commitment when you start doing that. <laughs> I'm going to take the black line with the kingmaker. And I think for most people, if you've got lower developed stuff, stick to the yellow line. Um, you don't have to do any overpower. You don't have to put on all the top spin. So it only takes a couple top spins. So if you have a lower developed extra mile, it doesn't take much. The key is clearing right here and not putting any curl on it if you've got lower developed stuff so that you can just go straight forward and just put on the top spin. that will get you out there to the end and it'll probably only take just a couple top spin to get you out there and then you can come in with you can you can come in with a backbone you can come in with a saturn you can come in with a there's you've got lots of options here you've opened up the mouth a little bit so that you can really kind of bring it up in there but i'm going to take the black line and try and get up into my short iron range and i'm going to do a 10 percent wind adjustment on the second shot let's make sure i got an extra mile a kingmaker and a hornet Got that stuff. I'm ready to roll. Rolling. Hole number four. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get something going on hole number four this is all i mean this drive is nothing more than a setup shot so the deal is is that you want to give yourself as absolute much room as you can possibly give yourself <laughs> there are obviously some spots down there that are a little better i would rather be over on this side than over on this side because when you're over here you've got to engage this and i i swear the wind must have they must have had a windstorm here and it blew the sand a little bit further to the left because the entrance, the sand seems like it's it's more into play than it was the last couple times we've played. Let's see if my opponent can get out there nicely. Very nice. Now can they stop? Very nice. Nice shot. Nice shot, man. You know, they were going, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop, man. I want to give myself as much separation out here as I possibly can. I'm giving myself about two and a half rings to the right from where it's going to land. Three miles an hour is a ring and a half. Put the forward power back in it. There's max curl, so I'm going to go about half curl. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if I can overshoot it. That was with max on. That's about as far out there as I can get. 430. Let's write that number down. I'd still like to be a little bit farther to the left, but I'm at least on the left-hand side of this transition between the sand and the fairway over here. I'm going to be close to it, but I could, I've could i got enough side spin with a kingmaker to move me around. I found, and just in, from unless you're trying to come out at low, if you're on the left-hand side and you're trying to come out at low and then use side spin to bring it back to the right that you're probably going to need a backspin club if you come at it from the left hand side the side that my opponent hit to okay plus 10 percent so times 2.7 about a three ring pull 
and I am right at minimum cloud. The three ring pull. rings. Try and hit it perfect. Hit one ring great to the left. In the hole. Got lucky there. Actually, I got a pretty good round going here. Picked up the, the two eagles that are Picked up an eagle that we absolutely have to get, hole number two. And this is the, of the par fours, this is the hardest of the par fours. Maybe I'll play serious and see what happens. Then I can just practice in my practice account. Maybe that's what'll happen. All right. That was hole number four of the Highlands Tournament and Monday's practice round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.